Man, my bad. What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. As usual, go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting me. This video is entitled You Don't Have to Learn Things the Hard Way. Um, I was thinking about this. I had it written down for like weeks now. Sometimes people think, you know, experience is the best teacher. Sometimes experience is the best teacher when you're doing something um, your own way. You get what I'm saying? But experience doesn't have to be a bad thing. You don't have to learn uh, something from a mistake all the time. That doesn't make you a better person. You don't need to, you know, to, to, to learn a hard lesson all the time. It doesn't need to be like that. And the reason I say that is because sometimes you get in situations where, okay, you got to do something, you got to cross somebody and then get the, the, um, the consequences of that to learn, oh, I'm not going to do that. See, if you cut somebody out that had to, just because you was mad and they had nothing to do with it and they go off on you, You didn't have to learn, maybe I shouldn't do that. No, you should have known that person has nothing to do with what you're mad about. Don't go off on them. You know what I'm saying? So whatever happened to you in that situation happened to you. Um, you don't have to learn things the hard way. You know, when people tell you stuff like, you know, you have to prepare for um, situations or life situations before they happen. And you say, uh, I just deal with it when they get here. And then it gets here, and you're unprepared. And then, you know, the next thing you're going to do is go, okay, I learned the hard way that, you know, I need to prepare myself for these situations. Well, you didn't, <laughs> you were already given a heads up on what to do. You just didn't do it. You know, you didn't have to learn the hard way. You didn't. You know, um, I remember... Somebody telling me, you know, keep your bills at a low, as low as you can get them. And if you got credit cards, use them for emergencies. Don't really use them like that. And some people heard that, but some people thought credit's free money. And I saw people who, you know, they just maxed out all their credit. Maxed out credit cards because it's not their credit because it's somebody else's money. So, And they couldn't afford an emergency. And they put themselves in a jam, and they knew the lesson before going in, but they just didn't abide by it. But now, all of a sudden, they know, you know. And I get it, like, you know, a person like myself, you know, we all going to make, like, mistakes in life. And we'll tell people about the mistakes that we've made so they don't make them. But uh, one of the things that's, that's a bit bothersome is... When you can when you can tell somebody that this mistake could be made, how to avoid it, the signs that it's coming, and they still I gotta I gotta learn on my own, you know. And I I have this conversation from time to time with my son. Like if I tell you all the options, and you still choose to go down that path, that's your choice. But don't come back to me as if you didn't know what could happen because I laid out everything that could happen. You know, but you wanted it to be different for you. And this is part of the, the issue, like, you know, a lot of times people do things and they want the outcome to be different for them. You know, that happened to you, but that's not going to happen to me. And that's one of the hard lessons you got to learn that, you know, you're not special. You know, you're not above reproach. You're not above the, the, the circumstances and consequences in life. So when it happens to when it happens to you, all of a sudden, that ain't supposed to happen to me. Yes, it is. It absolutely is supposed to happen to you. Because you put yourself in the same situation that numerous people put themselves in, and those numerous people got those same results. So it's supposed to happen. You know, um, I find myself sometimes thinking, you know, how can I say this? There comes a point where me as a person, I might check out, and I don't care, and I don't care that I don't care. And this has happened with me for 
a lot of times where I've had family and friends who know me, but they don't know me like other family and friends. And they get that warning like, look, you know, if you take his kindness of weakness, <laughs> it ain't going to end well. Ah, oh, he's such a nice guy. Okay, he is, but if you take advantage of that, it's not going well. And then they'll be like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, not me. I'm like, okay. And then they learn the hard way, right? And then, uh, and then I'll become the bad guy. You know, I'll become the bad guy. I'm like, I, you ain't that kind of person. Like, I absolutely am that kind of person. I just don't need to be. It's no, it's no, like, I'm not going to go out here kicking up dust just because. You know, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm do good by, I'm going to do right by people. I'm going to treat people right. I'm going to do good by them. If you treat me wrong, I'm going to get away from you. Now, if you follow me, <laughs> you ask for what you got. And, and it's sad, but people got to learn that the hard way. Like, oh, I ain't going to do that no more. And, you know, I've come, I've come in situations with family and friends where after those situations uh, die down, they're on guard about everything. Like, oh. Can I even do this around you? I don't care. You know, as long as there ain't no BS, I don't care. You know, same thing, you know, with, with, with um, sometimes people, people think uh, my personality can get aggressive, but I don't get aggressive like that. You know, because let's be honest, I can get my head knocked off just like anybody else. I ain't got to learn it the hard way. <laughs> like, I'm a human being, like I'm a grown man, but I deal with, in a world with grown people and I'm not about to go, you know, I'm invincible. Hell no. I remember in high school, I got a concussion at football practice in two a days uh, because the coaches wanted to teach me a lesson in humility. Didn't really work out well for them, but it kind of did, but it kind of didn't. So, coach called a blitz. He called a blitz in a B gap while I was running, running a, um, I was a running back at the time. I was running into the B gap. So, my homeboy blitz in the gap. I'm running in. Clyde. Bow. He called it that way so I could get hit. Like, whatever. Called it again. Bow. I dropped. I was woozy in a bitch. Called it again, because I just was like, whatever. I grabbed the ball, 80-yard touchdown. Made the safeties run into each other. They wanted to fight me at the practice. Last thing I remember, sitting outside with an ice pack over here. That's why you can see this little part of my shoulders up, because it got separated that day. I was, I was concussed like a motherfucker. <laughs> I couldn't play the first, couldn't play for like two weeks. And the lesson was, you know, had to learn the hard, hard way. If you're going to talk that shit, you got to back it up. But I didn't have a problem with that. But do you want to do that every day? No. You know, you know, you, you shouldn't have to learn lessons the hard way. You know, and some people, you know, don't get that. And there are people who believe they're above learning, you know, uh, life's lessons. That's why, you know, I remember a homeboy of mine. He was in the streets bad. But he wasn't built like that. And um, told him, like, you know, you got to stop doing that for you for something happened to you. And he didn't realize how it really got into the guns in his face in the jam when they pulled the trigger. Then it's like, oh, I could have died. Yeah. We told you that. You know, you don't have to learn this the hard way. And there are other people who got some time, you know, got out. Got in, got out, came back, got killed. Other people got like 40-some-odd years. Some people are still in right now. I don't know if they're still in. They might have got out because it was state. It was state. So they might have got out. But, you know, you don't have to learn things the hard way. You don't have to learn, you know, you treat, if you, to treat people. If you don't treat people well and they leave you, you don't have to learn that lesson because you miss them, you know, you're going to miss them when they're gone, and um, that's, that's bad, man, because you do not have to learn all these lessons the hard way, and you can learn from other people's lessons, 
And you can learn when the thing is going left that I ain't going to continue down this path. You don't have to go all the way to the end of it to say, oh, I shouldn't do that. And that's, to me, that's a sign of stupidity. But that's just my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.